President McGrabi, Chancellor Sushime Gazeki, the candidates are assembled. We may now proceed with these commencement ex exercises. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome. As we begin today's commencement ceremony, Nathan Emery will lead us in singing the national anthem. So would all who are able Please stand. Be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the class of 2017, welcome to the 188th annual commencement ceremony of Indiana University and the 48th annual annual commencement ceremony at IU Kokomo. I'm especially pleased to welcome the parents, wives, husbands, partners, relatives, and friends who have helped to make possible this day of achievement for all of our candidates. We share their pride in the celebration of accomplishment. Today's ceremony is but brief compared with the years of diligent effort that all of our candidates have invested in their educations. Therefore, we ask our guests to honor all of our graduates by remaining seated until the ceremony is concluded. Indiana University is proud of its long and distinguished history. As a public university, we are deeply grateful for the support that we receive from the people of Indiana, and we are proud of the university's service to our state, our country, and the world for nearly 200 years. Seated behind me are members of the Board of Advisors for this campus and other distinguished guests. We are very pleased that they have joined us for this occasion. You will find their names listed in your program booklets. We are especially delighted to have three members of the Board of Trustees of Indiana University with us today. And I ask them to stand as I call their names and please hold your applause until all are standing. With us today are Philip N. Eskew, Jr. of North Webster, Melanie S. Walker of Bloomington, 
and Anna M. Williams of Indianapolis, our student trustee who graduated just last Saturday from IU Bloomington with two master's degrees. So please join me in welcoming our trustees. Also joining us today are some very special guests, and I ask them to stand, and again, please hold your applause until all are standing. We have with us today a number of members of the Indiana General Assembly, and we are most grateful to them for the support that they gave Indiana University in the just concluded budget session of the General Assembly. With us are the Honorable James Buck, representing Senate District 21, and the Honorable Mike Karakoff, representing House District 30. Please join me in welcoming them. And also with us today is the Honourable Gregory Goodnight, Mayor of the City of Kokomo. Please join me in welcoming the Mayor. Also with us today are a number of senior members of the Administration of Indiana University whom I ask to stand and once more please hold your applause until all are standing. With us today are John S. Applegate, Executive Vice President for University Academic Affairs, Thomas A. Morrison, Vice President for Capital Planning and Facilities, Michael M. Sample, Vice President for Government Relations, Jacqueline A. Simmons, Vice President and General Counsel, William B. Stephan, Vice President for Engagement, and James C. Wimbush, Vice President for Diversity, Equity and Multicultural Affairs. Please join me in welcoming our senior administrators. Now it is a great pleasure to call to the podium the Chancellor of Indiana University, Kokomo, Susan Shimei Gusecki. Please join me in welcoming the Chancellor. Thank you, President McRobbie. I join you in extending a warm welcome to our honored guest, to the many friends who are here for this important occasion, and especially to the members of the graduating class of IU Kokomo. At this time, I would like to recognize the members of the Indiana University Kokomo Board of Advisors. This board is composed of individuals who help to make IU Kokomo an important and integral part of this region and this community. Would all the members of the Board of Advisors please stand for our recognition. There are some other individuals whom I ask you to salute the faculty members of Indiana University at Kokomo. Their outstanding scholarship, dedication to teaching, and commitment to their students have made this commencement possible. By their example, they have inspired our graduates in ways that will last a lifetime. I'd like to begin by introducing the president of the Faculty Senate, Gregory Steele, if he would stand, and then if all of our esteemed faculty would stand for our recognition. I would also like to recognize the members of the IU Kokomo's outstanding staff who are here with us today. Would they please stand? These tireless individuals help to make it possible for our students to succeed. Please help me appreciate them with a round of applause. And finally, I ask our graduates, look around for your family and your friends. Their support and encouragement have been invaluable. All of us rely in countless ways on those who are near and dear to us. We depend on them helping hands and their faith that we will succeed. So graduates, I'm gonna ask you to stand up and give a big round of applause for your families and friends. Please be seated. And now, President McRobbie will recognize our honorary degree recipient. Thank you, Chancellor. A splendid tradition at any IU commencement ceremony is the awarding of an honorary degree, the highest academic accolade that Indiana University can bestow. Today, we honor an outstanding individual, Beth Brooke 
Marcinac. You will find a brief biography of Ms. Brooke Marciniak in your program booklets. I ask Kathy Parkinson, the Professor of Economics, to escort our candidate, and I also ask Linda Wallace, the Campus Grand Marshal and University Platform Marshal Sarah Mostus, to assist in the hooding of the candidate. Mr. President, it is a great pleasure to introduce our honorary degree candidate, Beth Brooke Marciniak. Ms. Brooke Marciniak is Global Vice Chair of Public Policy at Ernst & Young, now known as EY, and she works with stockholders worldwide to address issues that affect the policy profession and global capital markets. Ms. Brooke Marciniak leads EY's global diversity and inclusion, inclusivity efforts, and she works with civic and business organizations that promote women in the workplace, including the Committee of 200, and the Women's Leadership Board of the Kennedy School at, How at Harvard University. Ms. Brooke Marciniak played basketball for Purdue University, and she was among the first of the female athletes to receive athletic scholarships. She was awarded the Theodore Roosevelt Award by the NCAA for exemplifying the ideals of college athletics. While playing for Purdue, Ms. Brooke Marciniak studied computer science and industrial management and also took courses in accounting. After graduating with honors, she joined EY, and she also spent two years working for the Treasury Department during the Clinton administration. In 2013, Ms. Brooke Marciniak created the Women's Athletes Business Network, giving back to the community of female athletes that she was a part of. This network supports female athletes by preparing them for careers after retiring from their sports. Throughout the network, athletes have access to mentors to help them guide them and find careers in business. Ms. Brooke Marciniak has also championed EY's diversity efforts. As an openly gay woman, Ms. Brooke Marciniak recognizes the power of accepting differences in ourselves and in others. She has been included in Forbes' World's 100 Most Powerful Women list six times and ranked number three in a list of top LGBT business leaders by Outstanding, an executive level network for LGBT business folks. Ms. Brooke Marciniak has laid the path to success for women in both business and athletics and is a giant in her field for future generations of women to look up to. Thus, for her many contributions to improving public policy and promoting gender equity, it is fitting that Indiana University recognize Brooke Beth Marciniak by conferring upon her the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Beth Brooke Marciniak, Indiana University salutes you. Your distinguished record of achievement and your generosity of spirit have set an inspiring example for all to follow. And so by virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Indiana University, I am proud to confer on you with honor the degree Doctor of Humane Letters with all attendant rights and privileges. Congratulations. So please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in another round of applause in honour of Beth Brookmasinia. I now ask Chancellor Shemega Seki to introduce the induction of the class of 2017 into the Indiana University Alumni Association. Chancellor. Thank you, President McRobbie. Another splendid tradition of commencement is the induction of the graduating class into the Indiana University Alumni Association. As students, you have been members of a very close family at Indiana University Kokomo. 
As graduates, you become part of something much bigger, a network of friends and colleagues with whom you have much in common. And so I invite representatives of Indiana University to induct the graduating class into the Alumni Association of Indiana University. Trustee Eskew will represent the university, Melinda Knutson Stanley, president of the IU Kokomo Alumni Association, will represent the alumni, and Julia Person, who will receive a Bachelor of Science degree today in history and political science, will represent the class of 2017. Will all members of the Indiana University graduating class please now stand. Trustee Eskew, inscribed upon this scroll are the names of every member of the graduating class of 2017. I request that each name be formally added to the list of alumni of Indiana University. We look forward to joining IU's extended family, and we ask the alumni to direct our service toward the university in the future. Thank you, Ms. Person. Ms. Knutson Stanley, the trustees of Indiana University, are proud to present to you these graduates for admission into the Indiana University Alumni Association. They join approximately 700,000 living IU graduates who live in all 50 states and in more than 150 countries around the world. And they constitute the third largest university alumni body in the United States. At this time, I would invite all IU alumni that are here with us today to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Graduates, welcome to our IU family. We know that those graduating here today will continue to enhance the worldwide reputation of Indiana University and bring distinction and honor to our alma mater. Trustee Eskew, we accept and welcome the members of the graduating class of 2017 into the Indiana University Alumni Association. Class of 2017, we are confident that you will enrich our lives by your personal example and the high standards you bring to all that you do. IU depends upon you to maintain its tradition of excellence. I challenge each of, each of you to support your university and your alumni association with your time and your talent. As graduates of Indiana University, we hold ourselves to a high standard. As new members of the IU Kokomo Alumni Association, we know that you will conduct yourselves in an ethical and professional manner and will be ambassadors for our campus. Thank you. To the class of 2017, I offer congratulations on your induction into the Alumni Association of Indiana University. You may now be seated. President McRobbie, trustees, honored guests, faculty, and friends, it is an honor and a privilege to introduce you to the 643 members of the class of 2017. The students represent 29 Indiana counties, 11 states, and 12 different countries. We are excited to recognize our first graduates from our new hospitality and tourism degree. <laughs> As you will hear today, our students have come from very different backgrounds, with very different goals, and very different stories. But what I have noticed is that each and every one of them brought to campus an adventurous, determined spirit. They saw our campus as a place of tremendous opportunity and hoped to pursue a better life. The faculty and staff, in turn, made a commitment to each student that they would support them in their journey no matter what path it would take. At IU Kokomo, we are grounded on the principle that every student matters here. 
So every hour, every day, students from all walks of life engage in the same critical work with faculty, learning and discovering, turning information into action and tangible change. So when they leave us today, we know they are prepared to make a difference in this region, in the state, in our country, and across the world. You know, graduates, as I look at each and every one of you, I am inspired by your personal stories and your successful journeys. I wish I had time today to share everybody's story, but I know that the few stories that I will share will embody many of you. Kiana Walton, will you please stand? Kiana enrolled at IU Kokomo and joined our newly formed women's volleyball team. She was considered an underdog for playing time when she first started, but she worked hard, became a very successful player, and helped lead the team to two conference championships and a trip to the national tournament. This first-generation college student discovered that being part of a team was especially important to her to give her a sense of security as she embarked on unfamiliar territory and in the unfamiliar culture of college. Will all of our graduates, who are, like Kiana, the first in their families to graduate with a college degree, please now stand for our recognition. Thank you. Some students are faced with many obstacles during their higher education journey. Jessica Gordon is no exception. Jessica, will you please stand? In a five-day period in August of 2016, her boyfriend of seven years passed away unexpectedly, and she lost her home, most of her belongings, and her car to the tornado that hit Kokomo. Nobody would have blamed her if she hadn't taken time away from her studies at IU Kokomo, or even dropped out altogether because of those tragedies. But Jessica refused to let life get her down. In fact, it made her more determined than ever to graduate on time. She is earning a Bachelor of General Studies degree. Please help me appreciate her efforts. Other students have used this opportunity to take them down a different path in life. As crew chief for the US Air Force Reserve, Julia Person is responsible for maintaining a KC-135 aircraft. Julia, will you please stand? After graduation, she can commission as an officer in the reserves, which leads to more opportunities. Julia also plans to continue her education in the future, earning a Master of Library Science. Her goal is to be a historian in the military or with the federal government. Her dream job is to be an archivist. Julia says, I couldn't do any of the things I want to do without my degree. Tom Cassidy is excited to be graduating from college at 50 years old. Tom, would you please stand? He played football and baseball in high school, served a four-year stint in the US Navy, and even played semi-pro football for three seasons before taking a job as a machinist. Although he is making good money in his field, he never felt content and believed he had settled for a job instead of making an effort to pursue a career. When he broke his leg in a four-wheeler accident in 2009, he was told that he might not be able to continue in his current position, and he knew it was time for a change. He enrolled at Ivy Tech Community College and then transferred to IU Kokomo, majoring in communication. He is graduating with a degree he is proud of and experiences that have prepared him for a career in journalism. Tom wants to encourage students that it's never too late to go to college. School was something I ran away from for years. It scared me because I didn't believe in myself. Just like Tom and Julia, I would like to recognize all of our graduates who have served in the armed forces. Will you please stand for our recognition? Thank you. Most college students aspire to complete their degree in four years. However, we always see a few overachievers. Like Frederick Matthies, will you please stand, who flew through college at lightning speed, completing his business degree in three years. This honors program student averaged five to six classes per semester and added summer courses to his schedule. He said his ability to achieve this was supported by the outstanding faculty and staff at IU Kokomo. And then there's Hannah High, would you please stand, who took her cross-country running so seriously that she hit the ground running for success in the classroom as well. She is crossing the finish line with a degree in accounting in three and a half years, a personal record. We also have more students this year that have pushed hard to complete their degree in four years or less. 
If you have finished your degree in four years or less, would you please rise for our recognition? Thank you. Our students never cease to amaze me with their energy and desire to make a difference through leadership and involvement, even on a national level. Tyler Lucas, will you please stand? Tyler is a member of the cross country team, and this year he served as chair of the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Student Advocacy Board. This was an opportunity for him to represent all NAI athletes throughout the country. I know many of you have taken on leadership roles in various capacities during your time on campus, president of a club, editor of our newspaper, etc. Would you please stand so we can recognize you? Thank you. We have many in international students who are graduating today. They come from 12 different countries, and we have many of our domestic students who have traveled and studied overseas during their tenure at IU Kokomo. Flavio Zampili from Italy is graduating today with a degree in medical imaging technology. Would you please stand? After growing up in Rome and then living in Sydney, Australia, and New York City, moving to Kokomo, he said, was a bit of a culture shock. I'm still looking for the skyscraper, he jokes, but said he found the right place at IU Kokomo to enhance his professional skill and the right faculty to lead the way. Will all of our international students who are graduating today please stand for our recognition. Thank you. IU Kokomo also has a vibrant international travel program. Harley Phillips, will you please stand? She had the amazing opportunity to study in Beijing, China for one full school year, an experience that she said has changed her life. As a future nurse, Harley says her international travel has made her more confident and improved her communication skills. Will everyone who traveled internationally while they were a student at IU Kokomo please stand? Thank you. IU Kokomo is also a stepping stone to many more dreams and goals. This fall, several students will enter graduate school. Justin Murray, will you please stand? A mathematics major, he will be entering graduate school at Ball State University with an assistantship to earn a master's in mathematics. Heidi Hendricks, will you please stand? She will be entering the Physician's Assistant Master's Program at IUPUI. Sean Gabriel, please join them. A nursing graduate will be attending the IU Medical School. Cheryl Farad. Baruda, will you please stand? She's been accepted to the IU Kokomo Master of Public Management. And Madison Hafflin, will you please stand? She is entering a Doctor of Osteopathic School in Kentucky. I know there are many more students who are headed to graduate school or professional schools. Will you please stand too so we can recognize you? Still other students will head to work when they graduate in the career of their dreams. Krista Shepard, will you please stand? Krista is graduating with a bachelor's in English and a minor in writing. She has been the managing editor of our campus journal for the past three semesters. She's accepted a position to work as a content developer editor for a company called GP Strategies following graduation and hopes it is a stepping tone, stone toward a fruitful career in editing. Will all the students who have a job upon graduation please stand? Thank you. As I stated earlier, I sure wish I could share everybody's story because you all here would be continued impressed. Today, our graduates will receive an Indy Anna University diploma. As you can see, all of our students have worked hard to earn this prestigious degree that commands respect and instills pride. Graduates, on behalf of all of us, we couldn't be more proud. Best wishes to the class of 2017. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker representing the class of 2017, Amber Moore. Ms. Moore is receiving a Bachelor of Arts degree today from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. Please help me welcome her.
I was three years old when I first stepped onto the IU Kokomo campus. Wearing a pink Disney princess dress, I flitted from table to table acquiring treats at the community Halloween open house. I was overjoyed with each prize placed in my treat sack. At that time, I could not have imagined I would be standing here today wearing a cap and gown, being prepared to step off the IU Kokomo campus as a graduate. The prize I obtained as a three-year-old at IU Kokomo was a piece of candy. Standing before you today as a member of the class of 2017 and an honored member of the illustrious Indiana University alumni, the prize we obtained is an IU diploma. And once again, I am overjoyed. Many of us began the pursuit of this prize four years ago with the support of our friends or family. During those four years, we've seen the campus undergo an impressive physical renovation while undergoing a personal transformation ourselves. As we dodged construction equipment and rerouted our way down narrow hallways, our minds were under construction and our lives were being rerouted as we matured. Theodore Roosevelt said, far and away the best prize that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. All of us, family, friends, faculty, staff, administration, can agree that getting a university degree is hard work, but it is work that is so worth doing. Each graduate here has earned various prizes, but let's focus on three prizes that apply to all of us. The prizes of friendship, failure, and facts. One professor my freshman year assigned, us, assigned the class the task of placing a post-it note on her office door by the end of the day. This assignment was a little bit quirky, but an exceptionally easy way to gain participation points. As I walked away from her office, I realized she wanted us to know where we could find her. Over the years, that professor has had her door constantly open to not only me, but all of the graduates sitting here today. She represents the faculty as a whole. They are not only our mentors, but also our friends. Look around, graduates. Today, we sit among dear friends, many of whom were unknown to us four years ago. These friends have encouraged us, studied with us, laughed with us, and in a matter of a few moments, will graduate with us. Another prize we've obtained is the prize of failure. Each of us sitting here today has experienced failure on some level throughout our college career. Although failure in and of itself is often perceived as negative, being afforded the prize of failure at IU Kokomo is invaluable. Some of us have failed tests or sadly classes. Some of us have failed at relationships. Others have failed to be selected for opportunities. But failing at IU Kokomo is failing in a safe environment. Whatever failure face, being surrounded by administration, faculty, and students who support each of us implicitly gave us a shoulder to lean on through the rejection. As we graduate, we must remember that failing does not make us failures. Failing makes us courageous. Last but not least, we have obtained the prize of facts. Lots and lots and lots of facts. Four years worth of facts, which resulted in the transfer of knowledge, which in turn resulted in an unrivaled education. The faculty members of IU Kokomo are unparalleled in their credentials, skills, and passions. We have all had many late nights followed by early mornings doing work that was worth doing. We have obtained the skills that we need to pursue our future. As we leave here today, we should remember what we've been taught, those who taught us, those who learned with us, and those who loved us while we did good work that was worth doing. And after all, that is the prize. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amber. Trustees, Ms. Brooke Marciniak, members of the IU Kokomo Board of Advisors, faculty and staff, colleagues, family and friends, and members of the IU Kokomo class of 2017. Half a century ago, the great political philosopher Hannah Arendt asked in her famous essay on truth and politics, do facts independent of opinion and interpretation exist at all? She went on, though, to answer this question most emphatically in the affirmative. 
Arendt argued that while events are open to interpretation, there is no excuse for blurring the dividing lines between fact, opinion, and interpretation. She wrote, even if we admit that every generation has the right to write its own history, we do not admit the right to touch the factual material itself. In other words, facts do exist and are beyond argument, dispute, or opinion, and truth does matter. Amen. You graduate today into what has been called the post-truth era, a time in which there is a disturbingly widespread casual attitude towards the truth. We have recently witnessed rampant attacks on established knowledge, a fundamental rejection in some quarters of basic science and dispassionate rationality, and political upheaval around the globe driven by wild claims and spurious statistics. But as a great educational and research university, Indiana University stands for truth. Truth unembellished by artificial equivocation, truth plain, simple, and unadorned. For truth and veracity are the very foundations of our society. Truth is an elemental compound of our, mo our moral and ethical systems. Telling the truth is regarded as a fundamental part of our relations with other people, not just for its pragmatic utility, but as a good in itself. It is something that we are taught from the earliest age. And the ability to change one's mind in the face of new evidence, of new true facts, is prized as one of the most revered of virtues. For thousands of years, truth has been a topic of the deepest inquiry by the greatest minds from every human culture and every human civilization. Truth, too, is fundamental to science. We rely every day on the truth of certain scientific principles, even to the point that we take them for granted. When we board an airplane, we trust that the principles of aerodynamics are true. When we seek the care of a physician, we trust that he or she will know which medications or treatments will benefit us and which might be harmful. When we drive across a bridge or through a tunnel or enter a high-rise building, we presuppose that it has been designed by architects and constructed by builders in accordance with the laws of physics and proven time-tested techniques of design and construction. And of course, truth has been a vital cornerstone of the kind of education that you have received here at Indiana University. It has been both wide-ranging and selectively deep. It is an education in logic and reason, in the analytical and the beautiful, in the past and in the present. It is a broad education in a wide range of subjects that are central to understanding the human experience. It is an education, in short, that aspires to truth. Our society has a vital need for those with such an education, for those trained in truth and those who have a reverence for truth. Devising solutions to the grand sol challenges that our society faces Challenges whose solution have the potential to resolve or mitigate the most difficult and vexing problems of humanity will depend on applying the powers of logic and reason to extensive bodies of factual information hard won over many, many decades. Our society needs policymakers, scientists, public servants, business executives, teachers, the kinds of leaders you will become who have an understanding of the importance of truth. You, the members of the IU Kokomo class of 2017, are superbly prepared to confront these challenges and to continue this tradition of the dedicated and unremitting search for truth. The IU Kokomo class of 2017 is part of a record number of more than 21,000 graduates of Indiana University across the state, and this is the largest single graduating class in the history of IU Kokomo. <laughs> through your dedication in the classroom, through your volunteer service in the community and around the world, and in countless other ways, you have affirmed Indiana University's legacy as a university committed to academic excellence and the continued search for truth. 
1950, the great statesman Sir Winston Churchill, then in between his two terms as Prime Minister of Great Britain, reminded his fellow members of the newly assembled parliament that there are great truths worth pursuing and defending. The dominant forces in human history, Churchill said, have come from the perception of great truths and the faithful pursuance of great causes. As you leave this ceremony, I encourage you to remember Churchill's call. Strive to perceive great truths and to pursue great causes. Remember the work at the heart of your alma mater, the search for truth and the dissemination of knowledge to generation of students, students like you whose characters are molded by the values of this great institution. Venerate the truth, search for it, and defend it when it is challenged. Then to borrow from Indiana University's 10th president, William Lowe Bryan, the university will bring to the state in full measure the light and truth that have, that, that have full right to wear its motto, Lux et Veritas, light and truth. Congratulations and best wishes to the classes, class of 2017. Thank you, President McRobbie, for those inspiring remarks and charge to the class of 2017. We now come to the central moment of this commencement ceremony, the conferral of the degrees. The names of the candidates are listed in your program booklets. I invite your attention to the fact that some candidates have been awarded honors and general scholarship. They are wearing distinguishing honors insignia. You will find an explanation of these honors in your program booklets. Indiana University holds all of its graduates in high esteem and takes an added measure of pride in those who excel academically. Therefore, I ask the candidates who are graduating with distinction, high distinction, and highest distinction to please stand so that we can congratulate you. Thank you. Our graduating students who are veterans or currently in the military are wearing red, white, and blue cords. I ask them to please stand and accept our deepest thanks and congratulations. Thank you. Candidates will now be presented for degrees. President McRobbie will confer degrees after all of the candidates have been introduced. At that time, all of you will be asked to stand once again for the conferral. I begin by asking the candidates for the degree Associate of Science in Radiography to please stand. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Applied Science please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Medical Imaging Technology please stand? These candidates, meeting all requirements for the degrees indicated, are recommended by the faculty for the conferral of these degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Hospitality and Tourism please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Public Administration please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Master of Business Administration please stand? Will the candidates for the degree Master of Public Management please stand? These candidates, meeting all requirements of the degrees indicated, are recommended by the faculty for the conferral of these degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Education please stand? These candidates, meeting all requirements for the degrees indicated, are recommended by the faculty for the conferral of these degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the candidates for all Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences please stand? Will the candidates for all Bachelor of Science degrees in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences please stand? These candidates, meeting all requirements for the degrees indicated, are recommended by the faculty for the conferral of these degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing please stand? Will the candidate for the degree Master of Science in Nursing please stand? 
These candidates, meeting all requirements for the degrees indicated, are recommended by the faculty for the conferral of these degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of General Studies please stand? Will the candidates for all Bachelor of Science degrees in the School of Sciences please stand? These candidates, meeting all requirements for the degrees indicated, are recommended by the faculty for the conferral of these degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Now, will all of those who have earned a degree please stand once again? <laughs> Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Indiana University, I'm proud and privileged to confer upon each and every one of you the degrees recommended by the faculty with all attendant rights and responsibilities. The reputation of Indiana University depends on your continued commitment to the values, knowledge, and skills that you have learned here. So I invite those of you receiving your first college degree to move the tassels on your caps to the left side to indicate that you are truly graduates of Indiana University. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Please be seated. I now invite our graduates to come to the platform. Mark Canada, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, will announce the names of each graduate, and I get to present you with your diploma. Division of Allied Health Sciences, Associate of Science and Radiography, Abigail Renee Berghoff. Sierra Diane Dellinger. Amber Renee Graves. Damon Tyler Hoffman. Taylor Ann Larson. Lindsay Marie Nelson. Caleb D. Patty. Delaney Morgan Pitts, Stephanie Lynn Shorter, Elizabeth Dawn Simmons, Abigail Gloria Stuber, Thomas Mark Robert White, Cheryl Ann Ferwerda, Derek Keller, Brianna Michelle Shanks, Courtney Michelle Stevenson, Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, Hannah Narissa Aaron, Christopher Bean, Bailey Renee Brumbaugh, Bradley William Clark, Nathan W. Perry, Brittany Nicole Enyart, Lauren Nicole Fearnow, Sydney Ray Gall, Erica Lynn Goodman, Joseph Clinton Haskett, Allison Nicole Hendrick, Heidi A. Hendricks, Kayla May Height, Brittany Elise Hunter, Brianna Marie Kinder, Stephanie Ray Lee, Kaylee Renee Lefew, Madison Brooke Moses, Marlee Brianne Moses, Jessica Lynn Paul, Stephanie Nicole Reynolds, Aubrey Deanne Sherman, Shelby Lynn Stevens, 
Kirsten Esprit Strong, Victoria Elizabeth True, Brandon Lee Whitehead, Bachelor of Science in Medical Imaging Technology, Jean Pierre Priso, Hannah Tini, Flavio Zampili, School of Business, Bachelor of Science in Business, Kelly Okoko, Olivia Nicole Alfrey, Allison Lee Atkinson, Brenda E. Bowder, Sabrina Marie Briggs, Autumn Chantel Brown, Melinda Sue Burns, Kelsey Donnell Clark, Nia Marie Cobb, Jacob Lee Cook, Bradley Michael Cox, Megan Rose Cunningham, Macaulay Cameron Decker, Sarah Maureen Ellis, Tyler Edward Erickson, Abedisi Adeyari Rashidat Fadgemi, Jordan Ann a Ferguson, Yannette M. Fermaseya, Austin Clay Forgrave, Gage Michael Gilbert, Kyle Grimes, Leanna Janelle Gurney, Laura Ann Heflin, Hannah Christine High, Challen Michael Hodson. Cassidy Allen Houchin, Taylor Nicole Hauser, Benjamin Douglas Curtis Huff, Chase Ryan Johnson, Kylie Kleckner, Victoria Broderick Klippel, Jacob A. Lammers, Caitlin Nicole Lear, Elizabeth Chantel Lodge, Evan Scott Marlowe, Tanner Michael Martin, Frederick Albert Mathis, Heather Marie McAdams, Brian Andrew Miller, Brandon Mock, Robert James Moran, Amanda Alexandra Nava, Sarah Ann Overdorf, Vicki Jolene Pickering, Kyle Vincent Radke, Bonnie Lynn Rame, Shauna Redman, Eric Mitchell Shepard, Deborah Elaine Smith, Samantha Amelia Spraker, Michaela Marie Stockberger, Mahusi Deo Tosu, Samantha Valquez, Nicole Wilcox, Tammy Wright, Brent Allen Yard, Jr. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality and Tourism, Emily Kathleen Fackler, Maggie Alisa Diane Goff, Mackenzie Ann Hahn, Sarah Jean Jones, Jennifer Ann Kubli, Randall C. Latta, Brianna Danielle Rose, Elizabeth Claire Ross, Bachelor of Science in Public Administration, Ashley N. Miller, Tiffany Ann Perry, Master of Business Administration, Jassim N. Alhamza, Murtada Y. Al Nasser, Ahmed Al Ismail, Abdullah Saleh Al Jarbu, Fabwaz Abdulaziz Al Arafaj, Naif Al Mahmoud, Basim Ataya, Raid Ataya, Joseph Kramer Jr.
Philip Ashley DeMarco Jr. Lori A. Fetters. Dylan Lee Green. Joseph Kaminsky. Sarah Inez McClurg. Nihorika Misra. Srinivasa Parnasala. Scotty Pennington Jr. Sergey Valerievich Salagayan. Master of Public Management, Mandy Dawn Carroll. Catherine Stephanie Castro. Eric Michelle Lennon. Julie Ann Luttrell Sheff. Ajanigo Beverly Ojata. Oyabanke Balagoon. Kaylee Rose Smith. Stephanie Renee Tinkle. School of Education, Bachelor of Science in Education, Shane Arnold. Nicole Alexandra Blas. Amy Noel Klein. Darian Lynn Doherty. Christy Elaine DeWitt. Jordan Elizabeth Douglas. Shea Shayla Elmore. Courtney Elizabeth Gilman. Morgan, Morgan Lee Harrison. Matthew Thomas Helton. Abriana C. Houdeshell. Bradley Jakes. Michael A. Lamb. Abigail Paige McCord. Lindsay Nicole Sanchez. Cody Allen Shanks. Sierra Marie Singer. Maisie Renee Wickersham. Hope Elaine Wilson. Nathan Paul Wilson. Sarah Marie Woodruff. Bachelor of Science in Education and Bachelor of Science in History, Political Science, Michael Allen Summers. Christian Daniel Staten. School of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Carolina Anaya Pico. Rachel L. Bobo Milburn. Courtney Rose Boyke. Allison Danielle Boyd. Savannah McCall Branham. Samuel J. Crippen. Owen L. Fishback. Mimi Suzette Ford. Caitlin Christine Gebby. Caitlin Hart Lofner. Elise Nicole Maxwell. Amber Monette Moore. Charity Nicole Musselman. Krista Marie Shepard. Nathaniel Timothy Taff. Ariel Antoinette Williams. Carly Joanne Wimmer. Sarah Yeagley. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Libby Michaela Kimbrough. Kelsey K. Smith. Bachelor of Science in Communication Arts, Thomas Anthony Cassidy. Paige Elizabeth Conley. Sheena Marie Dixon. Jamie Irene Huntsman Coulter. Tyler J. Lucas. Jeremiah Nathaniel Smith. Kara Dawn Ray. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Jade Allen Bess. Spencer Nicholas Brumley. Cameron Douglas Carlson. Jose Antonio Cervantes Zamora. Jacob Jonathan Evans. Jonathan William Griffith. Brittany Alexis Groover. 
Robert Graydon Hatchett, Michaela Renee Heffernan, Wesley Sean Herrera, Natasha Holland, Alexandria Lynn Lawhead, Matthew Lucas, Madeline Marie Fedig Mitchell, Kenneth Stephen Parson, Amanda Nicole Richardson, Hunter Cole Rowe, Adeline Santos, Kenton Charles Schreyer, Alexander James Steele, Kiana Walton, Malita Marie Warren, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Lexi Chantal Geiger, Bachelor of Science in History and Political Science, William Clay Aspiazu, Michael Casey Meadows, Janae Rochelle Oakman, Julia Lynn Teresa Person, Andrew Cole Tyler, Bachelor of Science in New Media Communication, Brianna M. Cogswell, Brielle N. Griffith, Kaylee Michelle Harness, Brianna Michelle McKinley, Anthony James Pickett, Sarah E. Swoverland, Robert Lee Turlack, Spencer Christian Wilson, Bachelor of Science in New Media, Art and Technology, Jennifer Lynn Blocker, Daniela Macias, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Louis Thomas Banaschek, Kimberly Michelle Kaplan, Fulani Azul Akanki Esther, Madison Jade Freeman, Emily Jo Fields, Chantelle Desiree Gaylord, Samuel Nathan Higdon, Cassidy Jade Marie Hook, Gwendolyn M. Indretz, Bailey Nicole McIntyre, Kinsey Lee Morton, Ingrid Marie Penrod, Christina Marie Richardson, Leslie Winbird Schleter, Adriana Elizabeth Sheldon, Jesse Lynn Smith, Jennifer Ann Troxel, Gabriel S. White, Bachelor of Science in Sociology, Nicole L. Brown, Dustin D. Dimmitt, Taylor Paul Givens, Jessica Ann McHugh, School of Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Kimberly Renee Allen, Allison Jean Ashbaugh, Caitlin Berman, Jessica Reagan Cartmel, Jenna Ann Crispin, Denise L. Davis, Kaylee Noel Ensley, Micaiah Lynn Fawcett, Felicia Christine Freeman, Sean Michael Gabriel, Denise Lynn Godfrey, Ashley Nicole Gosley, Brooke Elise Greider, Michelle Nicole Grip, Jenica Lorraine Hartman, Zachary Dwight Hartman, Sarah Jo Herbst, Alicia Nicole Hobbs, Michaela Christine Howell, Heather Renee Huey, Chelsea Louise Jones, Corey Amber Jones, Lauren Kathleen Kaiser, Stephanie A. Killings, 
Carla M. Lee. Tanya Michelle Lemons. Vanessa Janae Lindley. Morgan Rebecca Lau. Shelley Nicole Martin. Rachel R. Miller. Travis Scott Miller. Laura Catherine Mitchell. Tabitha Ann Newland. Ashley Nicole Pearson. Jennifer Dawn Perdue. Harley Devon Phillips. Varushka Eugenie Lucille Pomart. Ashley Marie Rice. Monica Nicole Roberts. Brianne Renee Robertson. Aaron Lee Rowe. Amy Eaton Rutledge. Danielle Lynn Schmicker. Kaylee Madison Sherman. Nicole Christine Sigler. Brenda Lou Singer. Marika Renee Singleton. Pia Victoria Strong. Ashley Marie Taylor. Tamika Dawn Triplett. Daisy Valdez. Brenda Ann White Knight. Natalie Elizabeth Williams. Alyssa Joy Wright. Megan Lee Yoakum. Master of Science in Nursing, Felida Wash White. School of Sciences, Bachelor of General Studies, Peter Ogbo. Alisa Marie Bowman. DeRay Boyd. Monica R. Carrillo Klein. Mike A. Copeland. Bailey Renee Dixon. Molly Elizabeth Fisher. Jesse, Jessica Marie Flora. Brittany Giesen. Aaron Gillum. Jessica Dawn Gordon. Elizabeth Jean Heflin. Tyler Kuhlman. Jenna Nicole Lewis. Angela Marie Maple. Brooke May. Mark James McIntyre. Blake R. Mullins. Courtney Ragusa. Lindsay Sue Randall. Lisa Marie Rasmussen. Blake Anthony Logan Ream. Karina Lizette Recano. Jessica Rosenbach. Craig Michael Ryan. Shelby N. Scott. Allie M. Shepard. Christopher Stainton. Ashley Nicole Taylor. Mallory Ray Thomas. Charlotte Thompson. Elizabeth I. White. Cheyenne M. Dakota Warland. Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Jeremy William Burnett. Derek Lawrence Fields. Brandon Carter Wysong. Bachelor of Science in Biological and Physical Sciences, Haley Gabrielle Beeman. Kelsey Nicole Bertrand. Tyler James Dennis. Jessica Robin Filer. Luke Alexander Jean Johnson. Tanya Sotelo. Bachelor of Science in Biology, Heather Renee Fields. Madison Renee Heflin. Holly Marie Roberts. Bachelor of Science in Informatics, Quentin Jacob Boughton. Justin Howard Coley. Colin W. Dexter. Hadetanji Tajay Ojo.
Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Michael William Mannix. Justin Allen Murray. Well, congratulations again to every member of the class of 2017. So we come now to the close of a memorable occasion for Indiana University and for the IU Kokomo campus and more generally for this community. We are grateful to the commencement committee for planning and organizing this event, and maybe you could join me in thanking the Commencement Committee for all their hard work. Our thanks also go to uh, Nathan Emery and to the Indiana University Brass Quintet for providing wonderful music for this commencement ceremony. Will you please stand for our recognition, musicians? Also, I'd like to thank our sign language interpreters, Barb Kane and Edie Malone. Please join me in thanking them as well. And I'd also like to uh, thank uh, Vice Chancellor Canada for superb reading of uh, the names of all our graduates. Please join me in thanking you. Following the ceremony, Please join us at Alumni Hall on the Kokomo campus for a reception where members of the faculty will greet the graduates, their families, and other guests. Now to acknowledge our newest graduates, I ask Mr. Emery to lead us all in singing our alma mater song, Hail to Old IU. And for the very small number of you who don't know the words to the alma mater, they are on the inside front covers of your program booklets. After the song, please be seated and remain seated until the platform party and faculty have left the commencement area. Now, please all stand for the alma mater. Thank <laughs> you.